Hey everyone, this is Selden from Arco AI, and today I want to show you guys how you can quickly and efficiently generate very compelling renderings using Arco AI and SketchUp. So for me personally, I value efficiency and how quickly I can model or do something or make something happen with a computer over everything else, especially my 3D modeling software, which is why we're using SketchUp. It's extremely quick. We have a robust material library that we can use that's perfect for this use case. And so we can come up with a few iterations very, very quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to explore a use case scenario where a client has a specific dimensions of a house and we are the interior designer and we need to come up with a few different ideas for the inside of the house, a few different directions to take it, right? So we already know the floor plan and we know the dimensions. So we're just going to make a really rough outline and sketch up of that. And then we're going to decorate it with some, some prefab components from the library. Then we'll use Arco AI to bring it all together and make it compelling. So let's begin with modeling the room. Okay, so in this use case, there is an existing countertop next to a refrigerator. So we will show that because we don't necessarily want to tear all of that out. We're going to go to our components and we're just going to grab a refrigerator. The one that I grabbed is right here. So we're just going to grab this one again. So now it scales a little bit off, but that's fine. We just scale that up to match what we need. There we go. And then we will add in the countertop that is existing. All right, so I just grabbed some countertops off of this right here to keep it quick. Just stretch it out on the last one and make it fit because obviously it's not the exact dimensions of the room. And so that's fine. We just need it for our representational purposes to change up the feel and look. So now there's an island that we want to put in right over here. Now, this is where we actually are getting into the interior design part. This is sort of our existing. And so now we're going to start adding in some things. All right, let's pick our walls. There we go. We have our walkway, we have our hallway, and we have our kitchen area. We have the island that we're proposing to add in. And so basically we have the space and we just start and throw some stuff in here. Now for the example of this, I'm just gonna throw in this couch, leave it as that. And I can also show you how colors can affect some things too. So we will grab a wooden material here something like that wood floor i'm sure we'll throw up in the back there uh it's not quite what i want something like that yeah probably somewhere like that so you can tell it's like an up and down we're gonna grab a um sort of a rustic wooden interior feel is what we want log cabin -y or you know farmhouse -y. that sort of deal is what we're really looking for in this one we want it to be like homey and cozy and if you're not aware you can change sort of the uh, FOV on SketchUp using this magnifying glass so that if you want sort of more of a flat image you can do something like this. This one seems good enough so we're just going to run with this one here. So now what we're going to do is open up our AI. It's going to sign us in. We're going to type in a few keywords here. We're going to say things like natural colors, cozy, um, farmhouse, interior, or um, let's see, what else can we say? Wood paneling, kitchen, couch, refrigerator, and I'm gonna make sure we switch our, I just went to our interior design. Prompt importance, this is how important obviously our prompt is and difference from original the higher the number the more different it will be so if you want to go crazy with something you put it up higher but we'll just leave it back here again uh, i'm trying to think of anything else we want natural colors cozy farmhouse uh, i guess we could say rustic all right let's hit it nice well, immediately it comes up with our wooden cabinetry and our cabinets and our refrigerator uh, the hallway gets a little bit lost on this, but we have a solution coming very soon for that. As you can see, our walls here are 
just natural colors, sort of a wood panel. Let's hit it again, see what it comes up next. Nice, this is another really good one. I mean, the wood looks great on this one. It even added that light fixture in for us because we didn't end up doing it. Like I said, we were just trying to be quick. So look, look at what we started with. It's right here. I mean, how quickly we were able to come up with something so much more meaningful, uh, able to tell a story, convey an idea that we wouldn't otherwise be able to quickly. I could have spent and modeled back cabinets on the wall, but I didn't want to. I just said that I wanted wooden cabinetry back there, and so I got it. I even put stuff on it so you could see it looks lived in. All right, so that was great, but now that even changing anything, let's say that the owner was like, oh, I don't, I don't really like the rustic feel. I'd rather, I want something more modern and more sleek. And so we're like, okay, well, we could go through here and model uh, the whole thing again and make it more modern and sleek or whatever, right? Uh, or we could just change the keywords. So we'll say modern kitchen, couch, stainless steel, refrigerator, underlit lighting. I mean, I, I'm just gonna send it just with that and see what we get. And so right here we have another great rendering and it's totally different and we changed nothing. I mean, look at our original and look at this. It's 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 so different, right? And you can generate all these different permutations really, really quickly. And so now we can take the ones that we really like to these clients and say, hey, look, I really like these three. What do you think about them? And now this abstract idea that didn't exist the client now can give you feedback and all these changes, whatever they may want to see, all that's real. And now we actually have a starting point rather than just some abstract idea where we're going to be chasing something that doesn't exist yet, right? Where you spend all this time on something and the client's like, well, actually the whole time I wanted something totally different, right? It just doesn't exist anymore. This took us moments to do really. I mean, I literally just made a box and grabbed things that already existed and threw it in here. And this is what we came up with. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check out our forum for more tips and tricks and be sure to leave feedback, comments there. Uh, I read all of them. So every single one of them I read and my team, we are on top of it. So any sort of changes you'd like to see, feedback you'd like to see, anything to make your life easier, that's what we want to use. And that's what our goal here is. We value speed and efficiency and your time above all things else. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out our forum our website and our social medias seen here. Mm -hmm.